Every year I make a trip with my friends to Utah, to the desert, to go rock climbing, and it's a lot of fun. But this year, I wanted to bring the desert to you in the most literal way that I possibly could. See, there are tons of cacti in the desert, as you can see here. Ooh. And I figured, what if I could give the internet a cactus? And so I did that. There's a cactus in my house, and I pulled the internet, and you guys said, let's name it Sir Stabbington. Now, it is your cactus, which means that you have to take care of it. I am not going to water it. And yeah, they live in the desert, but they still need water. All plants do. So I really think this is the most ridiculous contraption I've ever built. What it is, is a water bottle with a hose in it. And so water goes through this tube that's acting as a siphon, goes down into this valve. And that valve is controlled by a microcontroller here, which is asking the internet what the subscriber number on my YouTube channel is. And every time that subscriber number goes up, like we can witness here on my second account, a single drop of water should fall out of that valve into the bucket that Sir Stabbington is in. So anyone with a Gmail account, has a YouTube account, can press subscribe and let a single drop of water fall into Sir Stabbington's bucket. So you can water Sir Stabbington. Now, it only happens when the total number of subscribers goes up above the maximum. So if you click subscribe and unsubscribe and click subscribe and unsubscribe, you'll still only have watered the thing once, but just so you know. Um, now, hopefully we can keep the cactus alive. I'm honestly not sure. We'll find out. It's a big experiment. Um, lastly, while I'm thinking about it, the bell icon, if you click that, and every time I release a new video, you will get notified. I'm going to be live streaming the cactus as frequently as possible, so check for a link in the description to actually watch yourself water the cactus. I also want to say that it was windy in the desert, so windy that the actual windscreen on my microphone blew away, so I apologize for the wind sounds. Back to Utah. The desert here gets 0.6 millimeters of rain a day on average over the year. But what does that actually look like? Well, last year on my channel, overall, on average for the whole year, we got three subscribers every day. Now that's a lot, and I mean, I'm pumped about that. But then this year, things got, have been crazy. I, I've had 30 new subscribers every day on average. Uh, so... <laughs> Before I say anything else, like, thanks, man. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Uh, I mean, I love your comments. I feel like I've learned a lot. I, it seems like you guys are learning things about science. Uh, I've been loving it. And, you know, this channel wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you. Now, 30 subscribers a day is 30 drops of water a day. But still, that's about half as much water as the cactus would get if it was out here in the desert. Because, I mean, a drop of water is a tiny, tiny amount of water. So while my channel does have 10 times the subscriber rate it did last year, it still has about half the subscriber rate I think it would need to survive and stay alive. At least it has half the amount of water that it would get if it were here in the desert, which is probably what it needs. Now, I'm not going to give it any water, but I will add soil to it if somehow the subscriber rate jumps high enough. So don't worry about overwatering the cactus. I'm going to take care of it, but I'm not going to water it. That's all you guys. Now, if you're wondering, why would I subscribe to this channel with this weird guy in the desert talking about his cactus? And then it's your cactus, apparently. Well... <laughs> I make videos about science because it's what I'm most passionate about, because I think it can change the way that you see the world. It certainly has for me. Every month I'm making crazy metaphor or experiment videos. So, so far this year, I set up 13,799 dominoes as a timeline for the universe's history, which I narrated as they fell. 
At least I tried my best to. The force that holds it together is gravity, which I can also demonstrate. <laughs> I built a digital camera for another video, uh, starting with a penny, and I evolved it just as the eye might have evolved. <laughs> okay. This year I plan to measure the earth with just my bicycle and two sticks, trying to see how big it is and if I can measure that accurately. I also plan to lock myself in an airtight room for three days with just a bunch of plants uh, and see if they can produce the oxygen that I need to breathe and survive. I've got many more things in plan, but that's a bit of an idea of what this channel is about. I really want you guys to be involved in this channel as much as possible. And this is the year. I mean, it's the year I'm trying to give this a shot for real. And it's the year that Sir Stabbington either lives or dies. But I also want to know what you guys want out of this channel. I mean, if there's some specific thing that you think would be cool for me to do, I am all ears, so please leave a comment in the description if you think that you would like to see this stuff, or if you just want to help keep a little cactus alive, please subscribe. Make sure to check out the link in the description so that you can actually watch yourself water Sir Sabington. And thanks so much for everything up till now. I mean, like, this channel has grown immensely. I get comments from you guys all the time. It's super encouraging, and thank you for everything. Uh, and thanks for watching.